So I went antique store shopping and came away with this old rusted up shovel and uh, gonna try to make a guitar out of it. The first issue I see is that the neck angle is so far off. Uh, I'm gonna have to bend the, the metal shaft here considerably to get the strings uh, level with the neck. Anyways, first thing I'm gonna do is to try and remove the shovel head by grinding off the heads of these rivets. All right, so the shovel head, as you can see, this is the angle where I'm gonna have to change. Uh, I've got I've got to raise the neck here probably like 10 or 15 degrees, and uh, I'm not gonna be able to do that on my own, so I'm gonna head over to a metal shop and see if they can help me out. Here we are at the shop, uh, and he's just using a torch to heat up the metal, and the hydraulic press should compress it enough to get the angle where it needs to be. Well, they offered to sandblast it, which is awesome. That's gonna save me uh, quite a bit of time. Oh yeah, this looks good. Back here at the garage, and uh, next thing to do is to get the neck or shovel handle sanded down. Uh, I've just got some 120 grit, and I'm just going to get started on sanding. The shovel head is looking good for now, uh, after getting sandblasted. The neck is sanded down mostly. Uh, still a bit of work left on it, but it's good enough for now. So for the bridge and the nut, I'm going to use these angle brackets that I picked up at Home Depot. And so all I'm going to do is use a Dremel to grind down three string slots. Um, just three strings on this guitar. got the string ferrules drilled out and now I'm marking down where all the other holes are going to go. So this hole here is for the pickup wire, this one is going to be for the volume knob, and this one is the output jack. So what I did is I threw the bridge on and I strung it up so that I can determine where the fret marker should go. And I did that by just moving the finger slide up on the strings until I got to the right pitch um, so that I knew where the markers would go. And I'm only going to do a few fret markers here on the neck. Everything's all drilled out now and I'm going to head back over to the metal shop once again and get this thing sandblasted for a final time. Uh, this thing's got cutting oil on it as well as my hand oil so if I didn't sandblast it again it would just rust up over time. Next got its final sanding and the metal is all cleaned up on the headstock now. Uh, I did leave a bit of blue inside the handle. Those areas are kind of a pain to sand, and I, I could have gotten down in there, but I thought I'd leave it, uh, leave a bit of the old handle paint in there. Uh, this could just be me rationalizing for being lazy, but I think it will look fine. Shovel head is back from getting sandblasted again, and it looks a lot better now. So the last step here is to bring it outside and get a few coats of 2K urethane on the whole thing. Everything's all clear coated now and it's looking really good and shiny. Um, last thing I need to do here is to fit in these fret markers and then get everything installed. So for the fret markers I'm just using uh, nails that I clipped the head off and I'm going to drill out a hole and set them in. They will be slightly protruded but it shouldn't really matter because the strings are so far off the neck anyways that I won't ever be wrapping my thumb around. I'm using is just this slim stick-on cigar box humbucker. Um, don't really know much else about it, but hopefully it sounds good. All right, guitar is all assembled now, and we just got one last step here.
So shovel guitars have been around for a while. This isn't anything groundbreaking that I've built here. Uh, Justin Johnson, who's an amazing guitarist, actually has his own line of shovel guitars. And many other people have built guitars like this. So I was able to use those guitars for reference when building this one. And with that said, this guitar is pretty cool because it's something that most of you could build in your garage at home. Uh, it doesn't really require any heavy duty equipment, no routing or anything too technical. Pretty much all you need is a drill. And obviously I had to go to a local metal shop to get some help bending the shaft, um, but depending on the shovel you choose, that part might not even be necessary. I think my favorite part about this guitar is that I used an old rusted out shovel, so bringing it back from that state to looking how it does now I think is probably the coolest aspect of this guitar. I'm not sure how old the shovel originally was, I'd guess that it was made sometime around the 30s or 40s, but I really have no idea. Other than that, I haven't played slide guitar ever before this, let alone a three string guitar. So there's a bit of a learning curve to this, but I've put together something here in the demo to at least show the sound of the guitar. I dropped the finger slide after the demo, so it's all busted up now. I realized that turning the finger slide around so that it's backwards works a lot better for me, just because of the angle of the bottleneck this way allows for more reach um, compared to having it this way. A lot of people, from what I can tell, use PVC or metal slide. Um, this bottleneck does the same thing. Anyways, I'll show you guys the demo here in a sec. As always, if you'd like to check out what I'm working on or see other demos of the guitars that I build, give me a follow on Instagram at brosart. Mm -hmm. 